Hello guys, it's King Dub the Seventh, and I'm bringing you. Actually, today I'm gonna try to educate the, the populace of Destiny with a video. So we're also gonna have a special guest on today. He's a he's a very old friend of mine. I've been knowing him since like I don't know for a long ass time. He's been a he's been a very good friend to me. You'll probably see him later in the video. You'll hear him more than see him actually. So let's get started with the tip video. So if you saw what I just did, is something that I like to do a lot. It's making use of the jump. Because a lot of people in Destiny do not know how to jump. And movement, movement is a very big thing in Destiny. See, if he knew how to move properly, he probably wouldn't have gotten shotgun in the face. And if I didn't know how to move properly, I wouldn't have been able to shotgun him in the face. Sadly, I couldn't get to him because he had a pretty good aim with his Black Soros. What the hell? That's a rare auto rifle, but whatever. So yeah, it's something that is very useful to make to make useful to make use of useful to make use of. See, it's not much different from blunt shotgunning in theory. You're jumping in order to get to your target that you want to kill see the thing about it is that jumping has a lot to do with momentum and destiny the double jump feature so if you jump up and while you push x again while you're going up this is with warlocks mainly that i'm speaking for but if you push x while you're going up then your next jump movement oh luckily he sucks then your next jump movement will be you going up but if you're going forward like that then your momentum will carry you forward with the double jump allowing you to get close to your target like so I just kind of cut my jump short there I probably would have been able to kill him but it's all good this is just this is just for learning purposes right here take notes while you can so it's all about momentum and it's all about Killing spree. And oh, there you go. There's your first at the, uh, at the special guest. Some of you may know him as an announcer from Halo, but I know him as Bob. Bob was a good friend. He's been with me for a very long time, and uh, it's good to have him back. Oh, look at him. That person's name is dead. But uh, But yeah, making use of bro, and that's something that you also don't want to do, people. You don't want to miss your melee. That's a big no-no in Destiny. And you don't want to run under someone and miss it. And you don't want to chase people around corridors when you don't know where anyone else is. That's also a very big no-no. So. Yeah, movement is a very important thing in Destiny. You can also do this with blink. If you want to, you can blink towards people, you can blink away from people, you can blink up, and you can blink down. It's all a matter of where your momentum is taking you. I feel like a lot of people don't know that, so that's something that would be very useful to point out in this video. Something else useful to point out in this video is to always make use of your damn radar. A lot of people don't make use of the radars Triple enough. So a spree. lot of people can't do stuff like this. And I missed my Nova bomb because he lagged and I hit him with my shotgun somehow. And where the hell did that grenade come from? But yeah, enough people like there aren't enough people who and see that he came towards me with his titan tackle and he got shot just like I said before it doesn't always work but enough people don't make use of their radar and enough what the hell is he doing he just stopped shooting it why can't my aim always be that good I just took him out from across this long ass hallway with the last word maybe that says more about the last word than about me Oh, damn. 
and he had to bring out the Vestian Dynasty, the side piece as I like to call it, to take me out. But yeah, see it's the little things that makes, it's the little things that's the difference between the great players and the good players, and the good players and the bad players. It's nothing like fantastic that we do, it's just all a matter of the weapons that people use. And see, if I didn't look at my radar, I would not know he was behind me. Oh, and here's another, here's another learning tactic. Double so, kill. if you don't look at your radar, what you'll do... Well, a lot of people probably do this anyway, but you go after the first person that you'll see. And you'd probably die to the second person who came around that corner. But since I knew both of them were coming, and I knew that he didn't see me, I took out the person coming from behind him first. And then I took him out. It's all about decision making. And it's all about aim. And I didn't have very good aim there. And he just took me out with that black Soros auto rifle again. Heavy ammo available. And aim still wasn't great, but it was better than his. And that was a guy who definitely wasn't paying attention to his motion sensor. You see what happens when you don't pay attention to your motion sensor? You get golden gunned in the side of the head and you die. And you go to hell. That's exactly what happens when you don't pay attention to your motion sensor. And this guy isn't paying attention to his motion sensor at all. And he's lagging. And this guy isn't. He can't aim. He can't aim. And sometimes it's good to know when you can melee and when you can't melee. That guy was reloading, and he was uh, he had an auto, he had a, I mean, fusion rifle. What am I talking about? So I knew I was gonna be able to melee twice before he got another shot off of his fusion. Damn, couldn't save my teammate there. Killing spree. Inconceivable. Another thing to take notes on, people. Do not stay in the aftermath of a Nova Bomb or a Titan Slam. That's just stupid. There's no reason why you should do that. This is not the beta anymore. Like, we should know all of this stuff by now. Stole that kill with my shotgun. See what I should have done there? I should, what I should have done there is I should have slid up on them. I should have slid up in his DMs and I should have shot him in the face. But, for some reason I decided not to slide. And I died for it. I paid the price. I paid the price. Nova bomb for only one person. Did he die? Or what? Oh look, I got a message from Is this person on the other team or what? What's going on there? Oh, uh, I would read that, but I'm using a PS4 controller right now and I can't and I'm on playing on the PS3. I'm using the PS4 controller, I'm playing on the PS3 and I can't go and look at messages right now. So there's absolutely no way that we should lose this game right now I'm pretty sure that I'm at at least I feel like I have at least 20 kills right now Heavy ammo inbound. Well, that was a little good movement by him he was paying attention he knew I couldn't leave from that area so he just changed his view Heavy ammo and he above. shot me you're falling behind how the hell are we losing right now? That doesn't make any sense. Well, so I see people up on this left corridor, so I'm gonna go up here. Hopefully they're not paying attention to me. If they're not paying attention to me, let's go ham right now. That's two kills. That's three kills. I'm going crazy. I just broke that announcer. What the hell is going on? There's another kill right here. That's an assist, but he didn't kill me. See, I need more kills because... We have a slim lead right now somehow. I don't know what my team is doing. 
and Nova bomb Run right down wide. the middle. Now I gotta back up. I couldn't get away. I couldn't get away. And we're still losing. What the hell is going on right now? We're not gonna win this game. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Game over. What the hell just happened? I don't know what to say. I had at least I had at least twenty eight kills. I had at least twenty eight kills. Thirty seven kills, I don't know what to say. I simply don't know what to say. Unfreaking believable. Thanks, Bob.